it's still charging and it's down in the house and I can't be able to go down. I'm just gonna film this on my phone. So I just went to Bunnings. I got some 12 mil ply and I've got some three mil ply. I decided to go three mil just for the walls. I don't know, I'll see how they go. They might be a bit too thin, but we'll see. I've got some bit of pine here. So I'm gonna try and build one section here outside the shed and then just basically put it in and see how I go with that. So I'm just gonna draw and trace these out now and try and get some stuff done while I can. At least if they're all cut out, I feel like that's one less thing I have to worry about tomorrow. I've gotta to clean out the sides as well. So I might do that and get that part done and start building it tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, cut these out, clean the troop tomorrow morning, put the side panels back in to where they were, like secure them in. Oh, and I got some energy saver. <laughs> Echno, e Economo Seal. PU open cell phone for windows and door frames. Keeps out draughts, heat and cold, seals out dust, easy application. Basically what I'm gonna do is put it around the corners of these cards and around the corners of the thing because I haven't sound deadened it yet and I'm not going to before I go away. I thought that'd be a good little trick to try and just keep some dust out and it's, yeah, not a bad idea. I'm just thinking how much I have to do. And then when I get back, I can start making the frame for the half the bed, I think. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, and I got some stuff to put up my blind. These bad boys. Just gotta go to spotlight, I'd say, and get some stuff one thing at a time. First thing, get this done. So I've cut this one out, just given it a light sand over. And that's my attempt to, I used, I cut my finger, but I used some like outdoor exterior paint just to paint over the thing. So they'll go in here. I don't know, I thought it might give it a bit of a look. I'll think I'll leave this. Oh, I don't know. I'll see how it looks. Maybe it'll be painted over when it's all in. <laughs> look at the difference. That looks so much nicer. And I'll see. They're probably gonna look out so dodgy. They're probably gonna need like a second layer. I'd say. Probably should have got spray paint. Spray paint probably would have been better. Go that way onto the troop on the inside i'm gonna put this echno oh no i said that before didn't i this self-adhesive frame stuff oh well, that'll go on the other side of that and then might go around the edges i'll have to have a look in the troop so i thought i'd be up to speed on where i am so this is how i've been cutting them out because they've got so many holes these are like extra so i just drilled in i only got three mil which i'm kind of regretting because it's really thin but that one looks all right, so I should be okay. To cut these out, I've got one of these drill bits to drill the hole. And then basically I just get the jigsaw, put it in. Last time I just drilled straight to there, went down either side and then tried to make a corner, which was a little bit tricky, but yeah. I think that's the easiest way I've found to do it. I'm not sure I'm gonna cut this out just because I don't use it, but it's, I might just have to refill it. It's for the back windscreen washer stuff. Got like an hour, so I'm just gonna clean it. Look at the difference, how much better that looks. It's just gross. I won't be super thorough, but it just needs a good old clean. For a couple of days because I just had some really basic stuff to work out. I'll go through the troopy in a second but what I'm doing at the moment is cutting out the bed frame. So the bed frame is going to sit on the right hand side behind the driver's seat. It's very thin ply just to make a frame because I'm not technically, I'm a bit technically challenged with this whole building thing. I've got this bottom frame, I've got four along here and then two corner ones. That piece is going on top with the four 
across this way as well so that will hopefully just slot straight in over the top i haven't got anything in here so that'll sit against the wall and i'll drill that into the floor and i'll see how sturdy that is i'm gonna put a sheet of some three mil ply left over so i'm just gonna base the back of them and base like the sides and make little sort of inlets and then have a pop-up drawer so that's today's job. I mean, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, but I want to have the frame done. I'm going to stain this tomorrow or tonight and stain the walls as well. So that'll be all done for tomorrow. Put the casing on and then go to Clark Rubber and get them to make my mattress. Fly through this. this out so I finished it I put it all together I realized I got some more braces and they're different to the ones I originally had but the stuff I had was really soft so look at this oh, I mean it needs to be secured in but that is the start of my bed so it matches up all but pretty spot on to my measurements so then I'll make another one to go at the back there 12 ply here 12 ply here and maybe some some slidey drawers if I can get really creative. But whew, how cool, guys! Look at that. Oh. So I'll explain to you what I'm doing now. I've got that section in, so I'm going to do the part behind the seat, and then the little bit behind. I think I'm just going to make out a ply because it doesn't have to support anything. I got the measurements of the length. Got my little template here. I don't know whether you can see it and I drew 15 centimeters in just because I still need to be able to get up and it's going to be up quite high so it means I have to try and jump in and there's a little gap in here so I might leave a little pathway maybe just in here where I can sort of slide through. I measured from the corner all the way down here minus my 15 centimeters so that was 1.23 so it's 123 centimeters. I'm doing it in mil, 1230 mil. And then across ways, 420. Did the lengthways ones first, both lengthways. And then what I've done, I'll show you in here. By the way, I'm explaining all this because this is what I wish someone explained to me because I'm not a builder and I don't know how to build things. So I find it really hard. I've got my, oh, I just cut out another one to go on top. So obviously you need two duplicates and then the, feet I'm calling them in the middle the supports so I'm still doing four or two in the middle and then one and one so these are 1.23 meters yeah and then these ones bit of wood my calculations so by 420 mil so that's this way across obviously that's not 420 but what because this is 42 mil wide 42 plus 42 is 84 so I had to subtract 420 mil so that's the full way across where I want to do I subtracted four I did 420 minus 84 which got me 336 so 33.6 centimeters so I've done four battens along there I've got my other four lined up ready for the top half these are my two top ones and then from there I'll drill these all together and then the top part as well because my calculations for the last one were a bit different probably didn't get flat flat enough stuff like it's put some height on my things but I don't mind pine batten so it's 42 by 35 mil and they were 4.3 meters so I cut them in half so they're 2.4 meters long so I've got these instead of I was using a pine 
which was fine, but it was thinner. But I feel as though this is a bit sturdy. The only thing is it is a bit thicker, but I'm okay with that because I don't trust my building skills. I'm okay with having something a bit thicker to use for a support. I'm gonna put this one together and then work out. So because it's 35 mil high and my overall height, which I'll double check on that one, 30 mil, uh, 300 mil. So I'll have to, again, let's just do some calculations while I'm sitting here. 300 mil, cause it's 30 centimeters high. So it's the height of a crate, 12, 35. So 35 times by two is 70. So 300 take 70. So I've got to have supports that are 200 and oh, 23 centimeters high, which I think was the exact same for them. I think they might've been 23, because again, I was using different wood. It probably would have been 23 point something. This side, which is against the wall, will be, I'm just gonna sheet it with some ply. What I do from there, I'm not sure. I really would like to have a lift up cupboard, but again, I don't know whether I'm, um, very good at that. I'm gonna get going on this because it's five o'clock and I wanna try and have it done. I want all of the stuff done tonight because then when it gets dark, I'm going to sand and paint my back table and the walls and the tree piece that I have overnight to dry. And then because I need to have it sheeted and basically take it in to do my measurements for my couch tomorrow. Otherwise, I will not have anything to sleep on. So I've been trying to find like a secondhand mattress somewhere. Like just a foam mattress I can cut out, but there's literally nothing anywhere. I'm gonna have to sort something else out. So I might go to Clark Robin and see what they can source me. Because it will be an L-shaped. I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. That is definitely something I need to figure out. I want all the framing done tonight. And then I've got to make the frame on the other side. So I've got a bit to do in the next couple of hours. I'm gonna shoot on on and keep going it's Thursday and I have two days before I have to get everything in I won't film the next bit it's pretty boring to be honest because this is the stuff that I looked for on like YouTube and there's a lot of van stuff but there's not a lot of troopy stuff and I know troopies are very specific Prob probably I'll show you when it's in the troopy I'd say because I get way too excited or check my Instagram I'll leave it in my I'll leave it in my bio yeah I'll pop it in there and then you can have a gaze and I mostly upload onto stories and stuff when I get really excited that I've finished something. I'm quite proud of this accomplishment but I'll um I'll I'll shuffle ahead and I'll let you guys know how I got this out. I did it. <laughs> Obviously there's a low spot there so I've got to fix that but how sick. So I'm gonna try and fit in a couple of um oh I'm just so impressed with myself. How cool just taped it all up and that side I'm on my phone because my camera's in there and I can't be bothered look how messy it is so I'm gonna stain these walls the table tonight because it's too late to use power tools final measurements um, of where I'm sitting this table area I can't figure it out so I'm gonna let my brain rest for a little bit from measurements and do some boring staining yay I just had a chance to look at the time like quarter to 12. I've literally been working on this for the last like 12 hours or close to anyway. I think I filmed little bits here and there. I'll just have to again piece it all together. When I needed a break <laughs> from building stuff, I went and painted or stained, I should say, the, the walls of the troop, the inside walls. I just did one layer. It's an, a water-based stain called Iced White. Intergrain Natural Stain. So it's for exterior, so decking and decking and cladding. So it just gives like a nice whitewash because I put it up on my Instagram. A lot of people said to stain it instead of paint it so i've done that i did the table with one coat so that's drying off and i'll see how it looks in the morning the table might get another coat because the table is not as light as the wood in the trophy i want to kind of make it as a, i don't know so it all matches basically is where i'm going with that so i did the main frame the side frame and this one oh my gosh i've literally been working on this for hours like hours because that's literally all of the framing done then I could I could work with this you know like if any if shit goes wrong in the next two days I can I can live out of this basically so because I've got the third door I had to sort of it wasn't as straightforward as the other side which is why I think I was avoiding this side <laughs> Just did that one, that's done, that's cut out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a piece straight across here 
and then have this because this is like a shinier different material different material different wood to the ply so that'll because this is where my bed finishes yeah so I'll have a bedside table here that's storage so I've just got to make a lid for that as for all of this I've just got to bop most of it in now I've got to do a piece of ply on this side I'm gonna split I've got to figure out hinges once I've cut everything out. This will be a fixed one, and then these two will have two hinges lifting up that side and that side, so I'll cut this in half, and I've somehow got to figure out hinges. This one will have a hinge as well, so we'll go up like that. Again, got to figure out hinges. I'm getting excited. <laughs> 